Okay, welcome back. Um, I thought I had you on, but I had you off. Um, what I did was I I stripped two pieces of wire, and uh, we took an insulated connector and crimped them on, and then we cut off the insulation. Uh, I like to solder them on. They are crimped on pretty well, but I still like to solder them. So we got our solder and iron going, and uh, we're going to heat this connector, and uh, hopefully we'll get a nice flow of solder. I got the iron on about 700 degrees, so it's pretty hot. We should be able to uh, we should be able to heat this up enough, and we have real high temp wire uh, insulation, so I'm not worried about that. There we go. I'm going to try to heat the middle of this connector so the solder should flow towards that heat. You can see it taking the solder now. Flowing into the connector. It's pulling it right in. And uh, that should do it. Um, you can see these. Uh, these actually solder really quite nicely. Um, as long as you have an iron hot enough to, to pull the solder into that, um, you know, just melting the solder on the wire uh, won't get you anywhere. But uh, I like to put a little solder on it so that um, it has a little more thermal mass. So I make sure the iron's uh, heated real well. Again, this looks like a, um, this is actually a small chisel tip, so there is a little bit of mass to this, this tip. It's not, um, it's not just a, uh, a needle tip. So we'll heat this. Until we can get it to melt right, you see it melt right there. And then I'll draw the iron down a little bit more towards the middle of this connector so I can actually pull the solder, pull the solder into the, uh, into the fitting. And there you have it. So what we'll do with these is we are going <clears> to, <throat> I think we'll leave, I think we'll make red the neutral. I'll put a piece of white tape around this at some point. Um, so externally we know this is a neutral wire. This would be, this would more likely be connected to the blue. We're going to connect this to the blue wire on the compressor. And we are going to connect this to the um, to the white wire on the compressor, and um, and then we are going to hook the white wire. Um, there's going to be a neutral wire coming in from our line cord that we're going to hook right here. So what we'll do right now is we'll we'll uh, make the connections to the to the uh, compressor, but first we have to go through this cap. So. This is pretty much dead center on this this cap, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna pop a couple couple holes in it, feed the wire through, and we know we're gonna need to, to have one more, so I'm probably gonna put all three wires in here. I'll try to get them as straight as I can with those terminal strips. Probably put the drill bit or the drill in the chuck first, and we will drill out these two holes. Now we're going to need one more hole in this for our neutral wire. Yeah, I still, that's pretty good. Still goes on there nicely. So I think that's going to be great to mount down. Put one more hole in that when we need it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see in there, but that worked out. That worked out pretty well. It snaps right around these two insulators, and uh, even if we put, might put. 
once it's down now it's down we might just put a thin bead of silicone here just in one little spot just to hold it on but uh, I mean it's not going anywhere so what we'll do now is we will take um, take our compressor and we know we're gonna we're gonna have to run uh, we're gonna have to run our line cord right to here um, and then in this case we said we were gonna run black to blue and red to white um, okay we're back and, and what I've done is uh, strip this wire uh, and this one as well um, uh, we're gonna do something uh, you know, this doesn't need to be like a lineman splice or something like that. It's not going to get a whole lot of um, pull on it. And I want to get it um, kind of small and clean. So um, one way to do that is to uh, uh, make sure they're both the same length or pretty close. I need to cut a little bit off of this one. Um, and then open the wires up. It's a lot of wire in this because it's 14. Open the wires up. Um, and kind of, I'm hoping you can see this, try to turn it sideways and do this sideways, kind of mix them together and then, and then, and then turn one way, turn one one way and the other the other way. And this should get it down to a size where that, uh, you can solder it pretty well. That solder will go in there and your heat shrink will fit, fit over it and it'll be close to the same size as it started with. Um, you probably want a little tension on here if you could you could get just a little bit with a tool. Um, let me see if you can see that okay. I think you can. And we're going to go ahead and solder that up. Again I got this iron pretty hot so um, it should not be a problem. Again when we're soldering the idea isn't to uh, put the solder on the wire it's to draw it through it. So we got to get it pretty hot for that. Um, I realize you can you might want to add a little little solder to the to the tip of the iron that'll help that heat transfer where it's touching the wire and then you want to be on the other side of the wire and I don't know if you can see that but it's actually I've got that hot enough that it's drawn right into that drawn right into that copper wire uh, we lost a little thermal there you can just add a little to the tip and uh, that really helps so now that's a really good that's a really good joint because um, we we drew that solder all the way through it. Um, we'll go ahead and do the uh, when it cools a little bit. We'll go ahead and do the black one. And we'll see how we do. Let's see if I can get that so that the wires aren't in the way. <clears throat> it's always a good idea to keep your tip clean, uh, tinned. Um, always have some fresh solder on it. Clean it. Put some fresh solder on it. Um, now we're, we're heating this up until we see this, the solder on this. There we go. It's starting to. You can just see it's starting to get shiny and starting to flow. Um, you probably can't do this with a. Uh, you know a cheap iron I don't know if it'll get hot enough you can try it you could certainly do it with one of those I don't know if you know those, those soldering guns that would certainly do this um, they get really hot and they have a lot of uh, a lot of thermal mass so it's not just about the temperature you may have a, an iron that reaches um, 700 degrees and still not be able to do this because you don't have enough thermal mass it'll just pull the heat right out of the iron um, this one has, has pretty good heat element in it and, and has pretty good uh, transformer in there so the um, so the uh, wattage doesn't fall off, and you know it'll hold the, it'll hold it up. I think that's going to be good enough for what we're doing. first grader <clears throat> solder joints or second grader solder joints. Now let's see if we can get this heat shrink over it. We can. And then this is this fits pretty well already. We don't might not have to do a whole lot of heating on it. Let's see. This one's still a little warm so 
I have to hurry up and do this before it starts shrinking right around the joint as I'm pushing it on. Okay. And uh, sometimes you can just get away with using the iron to do this. I don't. Uh, I mean, a little. Yeah, this is shrinking right on. A little uh, barbecue grill lighter works great for this, or one of those little handheld butane torches. They're really nice. So now we have that. We need a a, uh, a neutral. Um, from our line cord to snap on here, so we'll uh... Okay, I think uh, I have a dollar store lamb cord here and uh, We're going to uh, cut us a general generous amount Off the plug end because I always seem to use the other end. So what we'll do is we'll just cut this And we will use the rib connector because We know that signifies neutral it doesn't matter if it's a single conductor, I suppose. We'll tear this down. Okay, we'll tear this out. Side of this black one. We might have to open that a little for that. It's got a little more insulation. On it. See if that fits through. It does, but it's going to be hard to get in from the inside. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now that goes on with the blue, which uh, we're using as black wire. Okay, so if you follow with the blue wire, Follow us down to the black wire, jump it over to the neutral, and we're all good there. So this is our uh, um, wiring harness for the for the compressor. Um, we're all done with that. All we have to do now is um, I think what I'll do. Yeah, I'll put a little bead of silicone on here so this won't get out of rotation on me. Just a little bit of caulk or something. Um, you know, all we have to do now is a uh, wire extra. While we're back, I decided to actually uh, do the one extra wire here. We'll take a we'll take a black wire, and we'll we'll attach it to the uh, to the red wire. I went up and and marked it. I just needed to be a little bit longer than the ones going here, so we'll cut it right about right about here. That'll go into our switch, and then it'll be really nice because we'll have white and black going into the switch. They'll be, it'll be correct for, um, you know, hot and neutral. So uh, that'll be great. I'll make the connection here, and uh, see how this goes.
happy. And since this is the uh, the 110 wire, this since this is the the hot wire, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll put another piece over that. <clears throat> Slightly larger diameter. Feels pretty good. Okay, so I think we're ready to go here. Um, we'll need a way to hook up our ground wires, but other than that, I think we're good to go. All right. <laughs>